Hello friends, welcome to Easy Learning. Today we will be learning about eggs and its types, which is related to the developmental biology, it is embryology. Now, first let us understand what is an egg. The egg is an organic vessel containing the zygote in which an embryo develops until it can survive on its own, at which point the animal hatches. So this is an egg. Now the main form of food reserve present in the egg is the yolk. The yolk appears in the oocytes in the second phase of egg maturation that is vitalogenesis period. We can distinguish yolk as protein yolk or fatty yolk. So the amount of yolk is an important determining factor for further patterns in embryological stages. This amount of yolk influences cleavage and gastrulation methods also. Now let us see these eggs are of various types. They are classified according to the amount distribution of yolk and by the pattern of their cleavage. That means the eggs are classified depending on or based on the amount of yolk, the distribution of yolk, presence and absence of the shell and the pattern of development. Now, let us see the first classification that is the classification of eggs based on the amount of yolk. So, based on this amount of yolk, the eggs are classified as two types. They are alacetal and lacetal. Now, this lacetal meaning egg yolk, it is a Greek word. Lacetal means yolk. A lacetal that means it's the absence of the yolk. So the egg that has little or no yolk is described as a lacetal yolk. Examples eutherian mammals that is human eggs. And we have lacetal eggs. See, these lacetal eggs have considerable amount of yolk and these are categorized as microlacetal, mesolacetal and macrolacetal eggs. Now, as the term suggests us, microlacetal, that means with a small or little amount of yolk are called microlacetal eggs. They are also referred as oligolacetal. So, such eggs are found in echinoderms, urochordates and amphioxus. So these have small or little amount of egg yolk in its egg. Right and the next we have mesolacetal eggs. So Meso, the eggs with the moderate amount of yolk are described as mesolacetal eggs. Now, these mesolacetal eggs are seen in certain mollusks, amphibians, right? So, you can see the amount of yolk is moderate or medium or media lacetal. Now, diploid is an example. Petromyzon. These are mesolacetal eggs. Now, the other category, macrolacetal eggs. Macro, the term tells us the eggs with a large amount of yolk are known as macrolacetal or we can say it as megalacetal or polylacetal. So, in this, the yolk occupies almost the entire interior part of the egg. And the cytoplasm remains at the top. The examples include Gymnophiana, Bird's egg, Prototherian eggs. 
these are macro lecithal eggs now the classification based on the distribution of the yolk we have two categories under this that is homolecithal or isolecithal heterolecithal or anisolecithal now homolecithal eggs of this type have the yolk uniformly distributed in the cytoplasm so such eggs cleavage is deeper and may bisect the eggs connecting the two poles so the all microlecithal eggs exhibit isolecithality so microlecithal we have learned that the eggs with a small or little amount of yolk so isolecithal we have seen that means have uniformly distributed in the cytoplasm as we can see this next heterolecithal eggs so heterolecithal eggs the yolk is unevenly distributed in the cytoplasm so depending on the pattern of yolk distribution they are categorized as telolecithal and centrolecithal now in telolecithal eggs they are very large containing enormous amount of yolk as we can see and it is concentrated at the vegetal pole and the concentration of yolk is smallest at the animal pole so the amount of yolk is so massive that it occupies almost all the vegetal pool and active cytoplasm and germinal vesicle nucleus remain confined to a small cap at the animal pool in this mesolecithal and macrolecithal exhibit telolecithality now centrolecithal as the term suggests the egg the yolk of this egg is centrally concentrated that means egg has its yolk in its center which is surrounded by a cytoplasm many arthropods eggs like insects are the examples of this type of centrolecithality now the classification based on the presence or absence of the shell the eggs which have got outer covering that is shell they are considered as cleidoic eggs and the eggs without shell is non cleidoic so cleidoic is a latin word which means sealed box so these cleidoic eggs are laid on the dry land so when they are laid on the dry land they must be protected well so the terrestrial animals like reptiles birds lay their eggs on land to protect them from desiccation a leathery coats or hard shells are formed outside so when there is a hard shell outside the eggs are considered as cleidoic eggs non cleidoic eggs that means the eggs have no shells in the outer covering mostly or aquatic organisms like fishes and amphibians lay their eggs in water there is no hard covering except jelly coat this type of egg is also laid by animals in whose case the development is internal like mammals such eggs are called non cleidoic now we will see the classification based on pattern of development they are two types that is mosaic or determinate regulative or indeterminate mosaic or determinate for example if a particular portion of the egg is removed the developing embryo will be lacking in a particular organ such type of eggs are described as mosaic or determinate egg examples annelids mollusks and ascidians regulative or indeterminate so in invertebrates and most vertebrates the developmental pot potentialities are not predetermined in the eggs removal of 
a small portion of egg or even one or two early blastomeres will not affect the normal development so this type of egg in which the future developmental potentialities are not predetermined is known as regulative or indeterminate egg i hope you have understood about the types and types and the classification of eggs thank you so much for listening